here with my man Adam Williams from RestaurantTraffic.com and for all of the hottest spots to get you something to eat in Charlotte and also for episodes of West Got Range, check out RestaurantTraffic.com. Sure was. Take that little piece of shell out of there. That's a lot of work to get my food. That seems like back in the day when you had to hunt for stuff, man. That, that's a lot of work. I don't know if I want to work there. Are you an oyster eater? I've never had them, so today will be my oh, first. Awesome. If there are two things I love in life, it's food and sports. I'm Wes Bryan, a born and bred North Carolina kid, and I'm going to take you on a journey to some of the best spots in Charlotte to get your grub on with some of the best and brightest athletes and personalities. Back in the day, I had plenty of games, and now I'm here to show you that Wes got range. West Got Range coming back at you once again, this time from sea level in the Hearst Tower off of 5th Street in Charlotte. Now this place, they definitely keep it all the way local. One of the few farm to fork oyster restaurants that you will see, that means they get it straight from the farms and from the coast of North Carolina for a lot of their seafood items. I got Patrick Slogic joining me from the Charlotte Independence. So enough with the talking, let's get in here and as always, we're gonna Eat it up. Back here in the kitchen at Sea Life with my man, Chef Jonathan. What's going on, my man? All right, he's going to show us a shrimp po' boy. I love those. Most of the time, that's a Louisiana treat, but we're going to have one down here in North Carolina. Let's get to it. Got to have the bread. That's the I most important bread. part, right? Yeah, they call this uh, white batard. Okay. So all we do is put it in our oven, bring it to the freeze, let it sit there while we make the rest of it. Drop it in the batter. Yeah, this is our tempura batter right here. Flour, cornstarch, soda yes. water. Yes. Fries at 375 degrees. Get most of the batter off of it. All right. Try not to burn yourself. That's always the key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Safety first. I do that thing quick. Here we've got our uh, remoulade sauce. Okay. Basically, a uh, aioli-based sauce with capers, some pickled vegetables. Great! It looks delicious. Yeah, that looks great. Oh yeah. Visually adds to the sandwich too. It makes it look just oh, yeah, the so green great. Makes it pop. Gives it a classy feel to it. Uh, this here is from pickled.com and carrot. Pink spaghetti. Pink spaghetti. <laughs> here we go, shrimp po' boy. Oh, this is so good. That sauce is creamy, gives it a great flavor. The pink spaghetti sets it off. Shrimp, good and crispy, full of flavor. Oh, magnifique! With my man Patrick Slogic of the Charlotte Independence of the USL. Here to talk a little soccer, here to talk a little food, but let's get right to it. You are a great, great player. Coming out of college, Ivy League man, Cornell University, was a defensive player of the year there, and that's what you're known for here, a great defensive player. But now we know the route from football where you play in college, go to the draft. NBA, you play in college, go to the draft. Tell us about what it's like for a guy coming up from the soccer ranks in college, great player. What's that journey like to get to the bright light, so to speak? Well, it's a little bit different than, uh, I guess you'd say, for you know, your typical American athlete in terms of football or basketball. Um, the draft system it works a little differently. Um, first of all, not as many people get drafted yeah. as uh, basketball or football. Um, but a lot of the like the MLS teams, that's the, the main league here in the U.S., um, they, they scout players, they uh, invite them to the MLS combine. Okay. And uh, that's kind of the big stage where uh, you get seen and uh, hopefully if you perform well, that's where uh, teams get interested in you, invite you into their preseason. But uh, from there, you gotta prove yourself at each preseason. Um, then if they like you, if you show well, then uh, from there, they, uh, they might sign you to their team or uh, and what happened in my case, either you play with them for a bit and then maybe join another team, the USL or an ASL. Okay. Yeah, but, uh, but yeah, it works, works similarly. So kind of like a farm system. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Now, as we said, now we're known, you're known pretty much as a, a minister of defense, yeah, so yeah. to speak. Now, <laughs> we know, like I said, all the other sports we look at, yeah. how defenses play. What if soccer makes a great defensive player, and what is it about you when you get out there and you love playing defense, and what makes you so great at it? Well, first of all, I mean, 
Athleticism plays a big role in, in any sport, but especially on defense, being able to cover a lot of the, the quick uh, attackers you go against uh, really helps having speed and uh, okay. strength to deal with them. But also, uh, probably more importantly, is your ability to anticipate the game, okay. to read the game, see uh, where the attackers are going to go, try to read the plays before they actually happen, and uh, being in the right spot to, to make a play. So if you're playing against a guy like a Cristiano Ronaldo, one of the great strikers in soccer, what would be your game plan against a guy like that? What are you looking to take away from him? <laughs> well, against a guy like that, you, uh, you got a lot to deal with. But uh, with him, he's got really good technical ability, really quick, uh, really smart player. So with him, you have to, um, you'd want to deal with shutting down his direct line of the goal, first of all. Um, you want to step into him uh, tight, someone like that, because you don't want them to be comfortable on the ball. You want them to have space to, to do what they do so well. So uh, part of being a defender is making the attacker uncomfortable and taking them off their game. So uh, that, would, that would be my, my way of going about okay. someone like that. Now we see soccer's popularity growing. Some have said that it's overtaking hockey even. It's like the fourth mm -hmm. most popular sport. Now here in Charlotte, we got the Panthers, we got the Bobcat. What, uh, excuse me, the Hornets. What about the Charlotte Independence? Why should people come out and check you guys out? What do you guys bring to the table that you feel people would want to see and to grow that popularity? Well, I feel like uh, Charlotte's an amazing sports town, first of all. But uh, soccer's really taken off uh, around the whole world. It's been, you know, it's been the world's game for so many years. And you know, like you said, recently in America, it's becoming more and more popular. And I think uh, on the international stage, the United States is starting to make a name for themselves. So I think. Uh, in terms of Charlotte, you know, if they want to be a part of that, that global game, you know, reaching out to the rest of the world, then um, Independence is the place where that starts. They're a local team, they're a team that you can rally behind, and, you know, just like the other teams here. You know, we've, uh, we've had amazing seasons you know, the past couple of years and really made a name for Charlotte. I think uh, we're a team who has a similar goal. Do you guys have the horns or something? What are those called? The Azusa horns? The Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. No, luckily, no. Uh, so <laughs> you don't like those? I don't like those, no. Okay. <laughs> now, I heard about the Slogic Army. Mm -hmm. Tell me about those guys. How did that come about? You're cool. Honestly. What's what that all about? Honestly, I don't know how that came about. Yeah. Uh, I know they. Uh, the, the story behind it that I've heard is uh, the first game when we, uh, we played Charleston last year, okay. uh, we played them up at UNCC, and uh, for whatever reason, they just, uh, there was a group of people who enjoyed my, my defense, enjoyed my style of play, and uh, from then on, I uh, got together, you know, rallied behind me, and formed the Army, and, uh, you know, I love that they, there's people in this town that support me and, you know, recognize what I do in the field, so. But you honestly, got a salute. Do you have anything like that for the army? The I, probably, I should. I should. You honestly. should. You should add that. Yeah, you get a goal yeah, and make yeah. a great play. You yeah. come over to him and so, salute. Yep, that's I what you should do. That'd be yeah. great. Yep. Next, next goal I score, I'm definitely gonna celebrate. Hey, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. Tell him. Hey, that's I won't point. take any credit for that. Yeah, but hey, yeah. you know when you see him salute, yeah. you know what it is. <laughs> well, hey, we're gonna get to all this delicious food we got right here. You're about to get a great moment right here. We got a catfish Reuben. We got the wreck fish. We got the lunch pick three combo, some great looking ice here, a lobster roll, and folks, get ready because we got oysters, and this is gonna be another edition of TV Gold on West Guy Ranch. I'm trying oysters for the first time. You slurp it, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Not bad. All right, here we go. I see. Cheers. Slide the army, here we go. Like that? Like that. Here we go again. Yeah. It's better with the sauce. A little bit, uh, yeah. Only places I gotta try. Little catfish I room. Better get busy. Yeah. Yeah, I lost That is really good. That bread mm -hmm. is real good, man. It's quiet, man. We're eating good over here. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, where's JR when you need him? The carnage that just went on here was insane. I think Patrick probably ate every oyster. In fact, this food was great, man. What were some of your favorites that we had today? Uh, love the oysters. Okay. Yeah, those were amazing. I have to say, I really love this lobster roll. Yeah. Amazing. Like the, the lobster and the bread go so well together. And uh, what of this wreckfish here? Yeah. Never, never tried that before, but I'm really liking that now. I'm going to have to try it again sometime. I enjoyed the items off the pick three. My favorite yeah. was probably that catfish root.
that was great. The fries, I can't get enough of the fries. I'd eat them every day if I could. The oysters, like I said, first time trying it, they were pretty good as well. All this food was fantastic. Make sure you come out and check out Sea Level in the Hearst Tower off of Fifth Street. And also, make sure you check out the Charlotte Independence Soccer Squad. My man Patrick Slogic, the Army. Am I a member now? What? Oh, yeah. Honorary member. That's sure. right. I'm going to come out there. I see they take their shirts off. I, hey, I'm not opposed. I'll no, do it too, no, man. I, we'll I, get crunk out there. <laughs> I encourage it. All right, man. Well, we'll catch you guys next time. West Guy Range. Remember, as always, like we did right here, eat it up.